that Dr. Tedros uh, will introduce. The World Health Organization has maintained its earlier position that there is no need for COVID-19 booster shot for now, as many countries, including the United States of America, jet up for massive vaccine top-up. In its latest media briefing on COVID-19, the World Health Body said current data does not indicate that COVID-19 booster shots are needed, while adding that the most vulnerable people worldwide should be fully vaccinated before high-income countries deploy to those. Uh, we believe clearly that the data today does not indicate that uh, boosters are needed. Um, and we need to know which groups at what period after the vaccination and which particular vaccines people have received in their primary course. I was stunned by the news that J and J vaccines, fill and finished in South Africa, are leaving the continent and going to Europe, where virtually all adults have been offered vaccines at this point. We urge J and J to urgently prioritize distribution of their vaccines to Africa before considering supplies to rich countries that already have sufficient access. Meanwhile, the U.S. government has disclosed its plans to make COVID-19 vaccine booster shots widely available starting on September 20 as infections rise from the coronavirus Delta variant, citing data indicating diminishing protection from the vaccines over time. If you are fully vaccinated, you still have a high degree of protection from the worst outcomes of COVID-19, severe disease, hospitalization, and death. So we are not recommending that you go out and get a booster today. The government said it is now very clear that immunity starts to fall after the initial two doses and with the dominance of the Delta variant, the U.S. is starting to see evidence of reduced protection against mild and moderate disease. As a result, U.S. agencies are preparing to offer booster shots to all eligible Americans beginning the week of September 20, starting eight months after their second dose of Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. Health experts in the country also said recipients of Johnson & Johnson's single-shot vaccine will likely need boosters as they are awaiting more data in the next few weeks before making a formal recommendation. Kamil Sadiq. CBA TV.